What is up, ladies and gentlemen, and beautiful people of the Crasher community? How are you guys doing today? Well, if you guys are wondering how I'm doing, I am doing very well, except I feel and look like absolute duke. I have been up at this point for over 24 hours, and I did just get home from work after 8 hours, so I do apologize for a faceless video, but it won't take away from the entertainment that you hopefully get. And what we got going on here is a rather interesting topic, so let's get into this. And this video is brought to you by this article from Dexerto that is titled, Pokemon Scarlet and Violet fans hope Gen 10 games lack annoying open world. Okay, so just from the title by itself, I am already very much intrigued. Let's see what we're getting into here. Pokemon Scarlet and Violet players are debating whether they want another open world system in the Generation 10 games. Pokemon Scarlet and Violet have had their array of issues, especially regarding the title's laggy gameplay and various glitches. Despite many players slamming the rushed launch of the Generation 9 games, they still sold over 10 million copies in only three days. Scarlet and Violet's technical issues even caused Nintendo Canada to apologize and promised future improvements. In addition to hilarious yet tiresome bugs, some Scarlet and Violet users have criticized their open world capability, so much so that they don't want it to show up in the next Pokemon installment. Okay, I have a couple of potentially hot takes that I have to say in response to this. However, with that being said, it absolutely cannot be ignored that selling over 10 million copies in a mere three days is an absolutely impressive accolade. That is absolutely incredible. However, do you want to know what else is popular and sells a lot? McDonald's. And do you know what McDonald's produces? Fast food. Now, I'm not saying that Pokemon Scarlet and Violet are the equivalent of fast food. Believe in me, they are not. However, when it comes to efforts here, some people do feel like that this right here is rushed, and when it comes to prepping fast food, you are in a rush. And the second thing that I have to say that may or may not be deemed as a hot take is that despite the enjoyment that I get personally out of the Generation 9 games, it simply put cannot be ignored that there are a lot of genuine issues that people have pointed out. There are a lot of genuine concerns that many of the players have in regards to Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. And let me just say this, despite all of the backlash that Pokemon Sword and Shield got over the national decks being cut, at least we didn't have to deal with game-breaking issues to the degree that Scarlet and Violet have presented us. Now, setting that aside right there, there are a lot of genuinely amazing aspects that you can enjoy out of Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. As an example from my personal experience, I love the Paradox Pokemon. I absolutely love them. I love, love, love Paradox Pokemon. They are, without a shadow of a doubt, probably my favorite thing out of the Generation 9 games. Right next to Team Star, I absolutely love their designs, especially the likes of Mela and Aerie. Their designs are incredible. Also, I find the music when it comes to Scarlet and Violet to be very, very much enjoyable. A Reddit user explained how they don't want an open world for Gen 10 on the Pokemon subreddit. The OP described Scarlet and Violet's open world as annoying to navigate and is already bored after receiving one gym badge. Open worlds need to be carefully crafted and filled with details, something that Pokemon can't do when they have to make an entire game in a year, one player wrote. For an open world game, it just kinda sucks, another user remarked. Movement is cumbersome, the world is devoid of anything to do, and even the city areas with mildly more thought put into them offer nothing more than a quick gym challenge. Okay, so I do need to make a very, very important mention here that it's not the game developer's fault that the games are rushed. It's the higher-ups that are accountable and are at fault when it comes to the games being rushed out. The developers are being forced into a ridiculous 
ridiculously unreasonable time crunch expecting to churn out games every which direction that Pokemon or Game Freak points, you know? It's honestly really, really sad that a lot of these developers are doing the best that they can, yet they are forced to serve, well, I'm just gonna say it, fast food equivalent of Pokemon games. So if you guys are going to be directing your criticisms at all, don't direct them at the game developers. They are essentially just doing what they have to do in order to earn a paycheck. Take it up with those that actually have the power and the influence. Because having these games released in such a short period of time where we know for certain that they need another year or two in the oven, that right there is something that I find to be unacceptable. These games come off as half-baked, despite the many aspects that are enjoyable about these games, we don't like to be served with half-baked bullshit. Put it back in the oven, make sure that shit's cooked all the way through, and then take a little extra time to trim off the fats to tighten up any loose ends. And I'm not saying all of this as a way to be mean or to be an asshole to anyone. I'm saying this out of love. I'm saying this out of the place of being a Pokemon fan for over 25 years. And I think a lot of people can agree when they watch this video and hear what I have to say, they can agree with the fact that Pokemon fans do deserve better. I can personally say that I would not mind at all waiting the extra one or even two years for a game to be released if we know for certain that it's going to be fully baked all the way through and it's going to be running really well and there isn't going to be any BS about it when it comes to glitches or anything like that that would otherwise result from it being rushed. Some Pokemon fans claimed the Generation 10 games could execute an open world system if Game Freak wasn't behind it. One person suggested, let another studio make Let's Go slash Legends games, let a different studio handle remakes like they did with BDSP, and let Game Freak do new titles. While Pokemon Legends Arceus wasn't a true open world title, many longtime fans praised the game for going in a different direction than previous installments. Until Generation 10 launches, Scarlet and Violet players can enjoy the game's upcoming DLC. Okay, first of all, when it comes to BDSP, let's forget that happened. I'm going to be perfectly honest with you, Ilka should not have remade those games the way that it did. It definitely felt like an updated, cheapened version of the original Diamond and Pearl games. Why couldn't they just do a Platinum remake where they had everything, all of the bells and the whistles out of Generation 4? I thought that the chibi design was cute, but I definitely can understand why a lot of people have adverse opinions about BDSP as a whole. They weren't terrible games, but let's be honest they could have been done a lot better. However, as far as Pokemon Legends Arceus is concerned, while that game wasn't confirmed to be open world, let me tell you something. That game was absolute fire. I cannot even begin to tell you guys how much I enjoyed that game. I would spend literally hours upon hours per stream playing through that game. I enjoyed it that much. So if Game Freak is able to recapture that lightning in a bottle type of impression that Pokemon Legends Arceus left on many, many fans and had enjoyable gameplay and replayability to back it up, then I definitely think that Generation 10 could have a really good open world scheme. But here's the thing, is that they really, really, really need to reflect on all of the flaws, all of the shortcomings, all of the mistakes that were Generation 9 open world, and they need to polish on all of that, so that way Generation 10 open world will come off a lot better. As much as I love the idea of open world Pokemon games, the execution of them in Generation 9 left a lot to be desired. Now, granted, Generation 9 was Game Freak's first ever attempt at an actual bona fide open world Pokemon game, so obviously the first time is not going to go off without a hitch. They definitely, definitely have a lot to reflect on and a lot of mistakes to rectify and polish up on, so that way we don't have a repeat of this in Generation 10 
if it is going to be open world. But with that being said, though, ladies and gentlemen, these are just my own thoughts and opinions on the matter. What do you guys think? Do you agree or disagree? Either way, I love to hear you guys back in the comments down below. And that's it for the video, ladies and gentlemen. So I want to say thank you guys very much for watching. Thank you for your time as well in viewing this video. Have yourself a damn good one, you beautiful people. Be kind to yourself. Be kind to others. Let's have fun and play some Pokemon. I'll see you next time.